so now we have to see the geometric interpretation so just the way we have seen uh, what dot product gives us geometrically what cross product gives us geometrically we also have to see what the scalar triple product gives us geometrically so this figure that i have here is called a parallelo pipet right in fact you can also it's actually called a parallel pipet so uh this figure is called a parallel pipet how is it different like what is what is the unique thing about it it has two parallelograms one on top one below and it's sort of it's sort of shifted right it is sort of tilted about the this this vertical line that you see here right it is shift it is slightly shifted by an angle alpha about this vertical line so uh what i've done here is this pink things a bar b bar c bar these pink arms are your vectors let us see what scalar triple product of these three vectors can give us so first of all what i've done is i've constructed a figure called parallelopiped using these three vectors as the edges right so as as you can see b c a are the edges of this parallelopiped right and likewise because if this vector is b bar a bar then this vector will be a bar if this vector is b bar this vector this the one in this direction this will also be b bar right so the other edges are just repeated right so ultimately we have three unique vectors three different vectors right which form this entire parallelopiped now let's calculate the box let's look at the box product of abc so abc's box product is actually a bar cross b bar dot c bar a bar cross b bar dot c bar or uh, what i can also do is uh, so first of all uh, i can also uh, write this as a bar dot b cross c right even i can do this i can either do this or this doesn't matter so a dot b cross c let's look at this second expression a, let's use this expression a dot b cross c to understand this example better so uh, if b and c are my edges at the bottom and i'm getting a if you look at its bottom it's like a parallelogram with b and c as the edges now if i do b cross c what will i get i will get the area vector of this parallelogram right we have already seen that in cross product so this vector that you see here is the area vector it's not in fact it's not a cross b it is b cross c this is the b cross c vector right it is perpendicular it is perpendicular to the plane bc it's perpendicular to the base it's perpendicular to the plane containing b and c and uh, it's also pointing upwards it is also pointing upwards so this is the b cross c area vector now what i'm doing this is what i'm doing is i'm dotting this b cross c with a so dotting with a that means this is a vector i will dot that with this vector that means what i will do is i will do b cross c which has some length cos alpha right because the angle between these two is alpha so i'll do b cross c cos alpha because ultimately if you are doing b cross c dot a what you are doing is mod of b cross c into mod a into cos of alpha where alpha is the angle between a and b cross c right so if you do b cross c cos alpha if if i club this and this so if i do something like b cross c uh, mod cos alpha and then multiply that with a what i'm actually doing is b cross c cos alpha is this edge is this height this is what your b cross c cos alpha is and you're multiplying that with this a with this side so what it is actually giving you is basically the volume of the parallel pipet so this box product that you see this abc box product is giving you the volume of this and how is that so volume is nothing but base area so whenever you have a figure so for example let's look at a cuboid to understand this so when you have a cuboid of uh, length l and breadth b and height h the volume is lbh right 
what is lbh what is lb lb is the area of base if you can see lb is the area of base and that you multiply with the height with the altitude of the base right so same thing i'm doing here i'm doing the same thing here what i'm doing is uh, in fact uh, it's better to you know actually project uh, instead of doing b cross c cos alpha i should actually look at this as b cross c into a cos alpha so that's uh, that's that's the better way to look at it uh, not b cross c cos alpha so this height that you see here is not b cross c cos alpha it is actually a cos alpha right because if this is your alpha then this will be your alpha this is the hypotenuse this is the 90 degree so this this thing this will be a a cos alpha i am multi multiplying this a cos alpha with the base area which is mod b cross c so i'm doing something very similar here also so that's the way base area into uh, height or the altitude gives me the volume of a cuboid similarly volume of parallelopiped is given by this base area which is my b cross c vector which is my b cross c vector into a cos alpha which is the altitude so ultimately this all of this can be clubbed and it can be written as b cross c dot a right b cross c dot a which is nothing but box b c a or box a b c because you will actually make two interchanges right so both of them are the same so that is what is the geometrical meaning of uh, scalar triple product uh, so as i also told you that if you actually make interchanges uh, it will still if you make two interchanges it will still be the same thing so instead of box abc if i have something like box bca that also means the same thing because then you will take uh, you know uh, b dot c cross a and c and a uh, so this is your c this is your a so you will take that as your base surface you will take that as your base surface and you will take this b vector as the altitude so ultimately whether you multiply that area with this altitude or whether you multiply this area with this altitude you will still get the volume what you will still end up getting is the volume of this parallelopiped so that is the reason why even if you make two even even number of interchanges to this uh, box product it still remains the same so as i told you why even number of interchanges uh, will still uh, result in the same box product that you will actually get to know when you look at the geometrical interpretation so now when you now that you have seen the geometric interpretation i hope you have understood why box abc is equals to box bc a because in box abc you will take this uh, this particular thing as your base this bottom one and you will take this a this a as your height and in box bca what you will do is you will take the one behind on that side as your area base area and you will take this b as the height but ultimately base area into height will give the value give you the volume of the same parallelopiped that it was giving in the in the earlier case so that is the reason why they are the same right so with this i think uh, we complete the geometrical interpretation of uh, scalar triple product so ultimately the point that is to be understood is if i have three vectors a b and c and if i take their box product what is what will actually give me is the parallelopiped that's joined using these three as the edges the volume of that parallelopiped is what i will get when i take the scalar triple product of these three vectors that is the bottom line so with this let's move on with uh, the properties of scalar triple product